Hey friends, welcome to Joyful Channel. If you are new here, my name is Alan. Come for the lithium battery chips and the hammer break. We all know energy story technology is changing the way we live. So if you can build an off-grid solar power system like this, you can get off the grid power and you can get the clean energy. The off-grid solar power system can make your home smarter, more efficient, and helping us tackle energy challenges. But how to choose a suitable and stable solar power system? So what is the key selection conditions? The first is the inverter. This one is from the 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter. And this is from Joyco battery. Today, I will test in the two piece the 5 kilowatt hybrid inverter in parallel and one Joyco more mounted type 10 kilowatt design on fast battery. The solar inverter actually, there are many different brands in the market, but the Dei and Grow Water is the most popular because of their uh, stable performance and longer uh, lifespan. And uh, the battery, actually, this ion phosphate battery is the best choice for home use because of, of, of their longer cycle life. This battery has more than 6,000 times cycle life, and uh, the safety is the most important for use. This, this ion phosphate battery has safety performance. And uh, this battery, we have a bracket. We can insulate that, that battery on the wall, but now I don't have enough space for this battery, so I just put it on the desk for testing the system. Uh, this bat this inverter with Wi-Fi part, so you can get a nice app on your phone. You can check the whole system details on your phone easily. And this battery has Bluetooth part, so you can also have an app on your phone. You can check the uh, battery data on your details on your phone also. And this battery we use CATL's Prismatic 3.2 volt, 200 amp hour lithium ion phosphate cell inside and welding it with laser machine. The laser welding is very strong for connection and the, the BMS is smart BMS. It can protect the, the battery like uh, over current, over temperature and uh, uh, over uh, uh, and the charge and discharge everything. The BMS can control and uh, for protect it. And also another important thing is the communication because the whole system working need the control. The control is from the inverter. So the battery need the communication with the inverter. That's the inverter can coordinate the work, the whole system work of, uh, of the entire system. Uh, today we test it and uh, we connect the uh, work on the, this is the uh, positive and negative cable from the battery to the inverter. This four cable is for connection, the battery and the inverter. And then I will use this machine. This is a load machine. I will use this machine uh, to test the whole system working. Okay, let's check the connection. From the battery, negative, uh, positive and negative, we connect to the solar inverter and uh, the DIP switch is the number six on and they use can to connector. We connect them with the inverter with this cable to the inverter. So when the communication is successfully we can check the battery's details on, on your inverter. Here is the pylon and the, the battery voltage, the battery current, the battery temperature, and the charge current, discharge current have limited, and the, the capacity. Now I will start this machine. We, I will use three point three point five kilowatts power for testing. Now the load is start. The power is three point nine kilowatts, and the current now is uh, uh, seventeen point three four amp. The voltage is two hundred and twenty nine. We can check the. The battery output current is 79.8 amp and the capacity is 93%, mAh. The voltage of the battery is 52.25 watts and let's check on the, now the battery current is 80 amp. And, and the solar power gives 126 watts 
to this system. And the load, this one is 2 kilowatts. And this one, the load is about 2 kilowatts. And on the inverter, this is the solar panel switch, and this is PV input. This is battery input, and this is for communication cable from the battery to the inverter. This is for connection the inverter to inverter parallel connection, communication cable. And this is the load, its output, and this is the grid input. And sometimes if you think 10 kilowatt hour battery is not enough, you can buy more, one more. You can put one more in this system. So I will connection this battery, one more 10 kilowatt battery to this system. Now I add one more battery to this system. I finished the battery connection. Now I will turn on the water. Now the inverter is finished the self-checking and the AC output is on. And uh, I will also use this machine for testing the system working. Use 2.8 kilowatts. This battery output current is 30.6 amp. And this one, 36.7. This total is 67 amp. So now you are use through 5 kilowatts hybrid in water, you can get uh, total 10 kilowatts load power and uh, two keys drive 10 kilowatts. This is a fast rate, more mounted by battery, you total get 20 kilowatt hour electricity storage. Okay, now the whole system is working very well. If you are interested in the off-grid solar power system, you want to get more information, you can check our website as below. And if you have any question about the system, you can contact me, you can ask me. And uh, the robot and the DA inverter and uh, the joyful battery. This system can give you a better green life. Thanks for watching. This is Alan. See you next time. Bye.